Hi, Don. How are you? Oh, hey there. Hi there. Hold there, Rachel. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. So obviously, I've been saying this to everyone, but I also have to say it to you. This show surprisingly made me cry. Um, I cried over Tommy Chong, which I never thought in my life that I would cry over seeing Tommy Chong. And then I extended into when you showed up in the show, simply because I, I was a kid watching that 70s show growing up with my dad, loved that show. And I knew the minute that you two were on, he would have loved to know that you guys came back for that 90s show. Oh, yeah. Um, but so what what was it just that what made you be like, yeah, I'm coming back no matter what for the new series? No, oh, well, you know, I, I was excited, you know, to come back and see everybody. Mm-hmm. You, know, uh, you know, Deborah Joe and Kurt Wood, they're, they're, they're so talented, but they're just amazing people. And all the producers, they were all the same people. I mean, after all these years, Bonnie and Terry Turner and Lindsay Turner and, and uh, you know, Marcy Carsey and, and uh, Tom Werner, and I got to work with Gail Mancuso, who I didn't get to work with uh, in earlier shows. Mm-hmm. And she was terrific. And it was just very exciting to see what was going to happen, what, what they were going to do with it. Because that 70s show was so magical. And so I was really curious. What are they going to do to capture lightning in a bottle a second go round? Well, and it it really is, it's kind of, I was saying this to younger kids because I was trying to explain to them how like it, weird it feels for me to watch that 90s show and be like, yeah, this is all stuff I grew up with now. Like, I understand why my dad was like, you don't, you don't get why it's weird watching that 70s show. And I didn't until now. I'm like, oh, I'm old. I remember all <laughs> these songs and like the outfits. Like, I was like this, I don't like this. I want to go back to that 70s show. But <laughs> With it, it is such a fun, it's it's weird to think about that time period as being a, like, going back in history there, because there's so many, like, changes in how we viewed the world, especially with news and nerdy things and all that kind of stuff. And so with this show, I like to ask all of you guys, because it's fun, what do you hope that the show, I hope it gets more than one season, eventually gets to kind of tackle, because the 90s were crazy, for lack of way of describing it. There was a right. million things going on it all times well I, you know i think that seventy show tackled so <laughs> many different things but the the basis of it and and why this works so great is the basis of this is relationships mm-hmm. it's first love it's first kiss first beer you know standing up to your parent or your grandparent for the first time the crazy uncle that you remember, the nerdy kid in school that was, you know, always too smart. And, you know, I think it's a magical thing. And you see immediately a different demographic of kids living in Point Place. Uh, You know, in the original cast, it was Fez uh, was the only person of color that was in that 70s show which was in that time period. And then later on, they had characters of color who were on the show, but not mm-hmm. in the core group. And now here in the 90s, it's like a rainbow of different ethnic backgrounds and a new mixture of people. So it immediately shows how the time has changed in that place, you know, still in Little Point Place, Wisconsin, and how that changed, how 20 years changed things. And we shot the show, we shot the pilot in 1998. So we were shooting the seventies in the nineties. And now here it is 20 years later and we're shooting that nineties show. When it's so fascinating, cause it's like seeing the, the central relationship of the show be a friendship between two girls was so kind of refreshing because I was like well yeah that was like in the 90s people realized female characters can you know not just be love interest they can talk to each other and be friends and so I like that the show did that but with the returning cast it's really interesting too how those characters have kind of grown because you see Red in a way where Red Foreman is not so angry at everyone he's he like is very 
like he's lax almost with Leia and I love when your character is so nervous about making like her happy as her grandpa because I was like yeah my, I've seen my grandparents and even my mom now do that as grandparents and so what was kind of the joy of getting to explore like this different level of your character because now he, he's a grandpa he's not just Donna's dad who we see every once in a while he is, he's Leia's grandpa which is a completely different ball game well and I'm a grandpa in real life so that mm-hmm. also you know like I said it's about the the relationships and you know Red has a soft spot for Leia he's only got a spot to put his foot in in uh, in Eric's ass <laughs> So, you know, uh, Leia has that special, you know, special place, you know, and, you know, Lori had a special place in Red's heart, too, you know, no matter what Mm -hmm. she did, she was still, you know, the golden child and, and Eric wasn't. But now you get to see, I see that Red uh, came alive again and that uh, he's great at protesting it but he protests a little bit too hard and kitty understands it, that that's the thing that's going to keep him you know alive and young and and uh and vibrant he still throws everybody out of the house but that's his job yeah and i think your character has always been the most relatable because i feel like you play him as someone who's obsessed with the foreman's and I'm always just like, that is me. I same. I understand Donna and her whole family because they're just always at the foreman's. And I, I love yeah. that that dynamic is carried into that 90s show too. Well, yeah. And, you know, it's like Bob and Red, especially. Yeah. You know, I was a great foil for, for Red, you know, and that relationship of, you know, me trying to impress and, trying to dress like I was younger and, you know, still doing that in that 90s show where I first come on, I'm living in Florida and I come in in my uh, Ode to Don Johnson Miami Vice suit with the rolled up <laughs> sleeves, which was still, that finished in like 1988. But I thought, that that's great. He's still trying to be the, the hip guy. But underneath it all, with all his bravado and everything else, he's a sweet guy that's not all that smart. (laughs) No, but he's very sweet. And I think that's why people love him so much. Because like seeing Bob kind of, not break down, but kind of have that emotional, like, I just want my granddaughter to like think I'm cool moment was, I was like, oh, he's cool. People relate to that. Yeah, I was like, I think he's cool. Doesn't everybody want that, that, that they want? the people that they love the most, you know, to think that, you know, to try and impress them. And, you know, Bob being a competitive guy, always with Red, it was always trying to one up Red. And, uh, you know, so, I mean, some of my favorite scenes that I ever had in that 70s show was with Kerwin. And, uh, you know, just great. And, And I get to sing again. Uh, yeah, so and, and it brought me back to when we were doing the show the keg and i'm in the car and i'm singing the night chicago die <laughs> la, 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 la. You know? so the the themes still exist yeah i do love that he just is like i'm gonna sing for my granddaughter and everyone's like this is not an appropriate song and he's like yeah it is and they're like no no it's <laughs> no. not you gotta stop singing <laughs> I and loved it so much. All day and all night, I was singing that song. And my <laughs> parole officer is not happy about it. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, what I do love about the show a lot is uh, watching that 70s show, as much as I wanted to be like Donna and Jackie, I was always Eric Horman because I'm a nerd. Um, and so the way he talked about Star Wars, I'm like, that's how I talk about Star Wars. Like, I'm never going to be the cool girl. But in this series, it is, it, it's like adopting exactly what that time period was like because the 90s were when a lot of girls got to go and like watch the re-releases of star wars and got were like nerdy in a way that we hadn't really had the freedom to be before and so with this show and the freedom that it has now being made in 2023 or being released in 2023 about the 90s what do you hope audiences 
get to take away and relate to when they get to see that 90 show? Well, I think they're going to see changes in relationship. I mean, when Donna and Jackie were together, they were friends, but there was always that friction between them. So mm -hmm. it, it was always that awkward thing of being friends and, you know, Jackie didn't quite jive with, you know, Donna's character. Now with the new characters going up, the two girls do get together and, you know, and jive with each other. And there's not that competitive uh, thing. And, uh, you know, it's kind of watching uh, Leia grow up and now she's around somebody who speaks her mind and uh, is confident and that builds her up to kind of keep scooching out to find the edge, you know, mm -hmm. and it seems like a couple of times she's jumped. <laughs> yeah. Um I, I love this series so much. I think it, it, it felt like coming home. I was just like, this is great. It feels like I, I haven't missed a season. And by season, I mean like decades without yeah. that 70s show. Um, and so I just wanted to say thank you so much for talking to me today and bringing this show back. Because oh. like I said earlier, I wish like my dad was around because he'd be like, I'd watch that. I'd watch that 90s show. Now and like watching. would love it. Oh, he would love it. <laughs> Uh, he probably is he probably is like I've seen the next five seasons I'm like all right well <laughs> I'm down here I have it but thank you so much for talking with me I really appreciate it oh yeah thanks for uh for talking to me nice yeah, of to course meet you. nice to meet you have a good one